Mister. Uh, nothing, Fancy Brian. Nothing that I, a little bleach won't fix, Crudy. Can he even keep his eyes open in there? <laughs> yeah, he's on the phone. He's taking calls. You can call as well, 844-967-2789. We have some more Trump song we're going to get to, but let's get some callers in so we don't have to make you wait. Nigel from Lake Geneva, you are next. Thank you for calling. Nigel, what do you got for us today? I don't really quite understand why you want to impeach Donald Trump. What would that accomplish and for what reason? There's nothing wrong with interacting with Russia. They have a flat tax of 13%. They have a high level of national satisfaction with their leader, and they're rapidly waging war against the Bankster Federal Reserve System that is closely aligned with the petrodollar states of the OPEC cartel. It would seem that any sort of collusion with Russia would be very, very good towards advancing the sort of uh, social revolution you advocate. It would be conspiratorial, and it would be illegal, sir, and it would be the evidence of treachery and traitorous activity by the guy who got elected with the benefit of Russian conspiracy and collusion. That's not Nigel, illegal. I don't care about petrochemical freaking policies between the Russians and Europeans and the Saudis. What I care about is the integrity of the presidency of the United States and the leader we have There chosen, is no integrity sir. for the presidency of the United States. It's all bought and paid for by the quantitatively eased banks that are a part of the Federal Reserve System. There I is no integrity with to American there, politics. It's all paid to play. Well, where's your reason? I mean, why did they bail out the banks? Because the Democrats did QE for eight years, and it was the Republicans that did top one, and then Obama did top two. It's a completely crooked system, and you're saying the Russians are bad. Well, all the members of the Congress who are Democrats are all colluding with the Saudis because they're the major financiers of their 501Cs, as well as the banks that the Saudis are the majority shareholders of. I mean, it's ridiculous. There's collusion everywhere. What about APAC? and all the money they give to candidates, most of them Democrats and, and Republicans. You're, you're, you're simply advocating for a, a Democratic one-party takeover, and there's nothing consistency. There's no consistency at all in your ideology. Well, wait, wait a minute, Nigel. There, of course there is consistency. Now, I'm not going to sit back and, and, no, and look back at, at President Barack Obama or the previous presidents before them. What we have right now is President Donald Trump. Now, do you think President Donald Trump has, has colluded with the Russians? Do you think he has... Uh, interfered with uh, the legal investigations of the laws of this country, yes or no? I think you're upset that Facebook... That's a very simple question, Nigel. Do you want to answer it? Has Donald Trump interfered with investigations that are legal and righteous in this country into him and his businesses and his inauguration, et cetera, et cetera? Either he did or he did not. What do you think? As the executive, he runs the DOJ. So where are these investigations even coming from? They seem to be coming from inside of a bureaucracy that's completely out of control. So the DOJ is out of control and Donald Trump is the guy that's fixing it? That's what you're suggesting? I think think whatever collusion he's done with Russia. I'm not talking about collusion with Russia. I'm talking about investigations right now, money laundering. What about money laundering with Russia? Nigel, how about that one? Is that okay with you? You think that's cool? What do you think quantitative easing is? That's creating fake money to inflate the equities market. The Democrats supported that completely for eight years at 0% interest. How does money have no cost? I'm not talking about monetary fiscal policy. I'm talking about dirty money coming out of Russia, stolen, Nigel, stolen, Nigel, stolen. People died. The Magnitsky Act, they murdered the guy in prison. They hustled hundreds of millions of dollars from this corporation hedge fund that they funneled through real estate in frickin' Manhattan, man. Now, you want to talk about monetary policy in the Fed? Fine, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about a POS corrupt real estate developer who was on the receiving end of Russian money, and he's doing everything he can to hide it. Now, you, come on, man. That is, that is something that we need to investigate in this country, given the laws and, and processes that we have. And if you don't think that that's worth doing it, you think he's innocent of all that? Well, that's your opinion. I think he's guilty. And if he partook in that activity, he should be prosecuted, regardless if he's in the executive branch or not. With what evidence, sir? Do you think Bill Clinton should be prosecuted for going to Little St. James Island with his friend, uh, Mr. Epstein? Don't be what about me, Nigel. It doesn't matter. Where we're at is where we're at right now, dude. I think, I, think, I think Russian investment in the United States is absolutely fantastic, much better than Saudi investment. Is that what you call stealing I mean, Russian tax money get, or getting stolen out of a hedge fund? Well, Come on, you, that's investment? That's money laundering, Nigel. Where, 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 what's the process of laundering money? Tell me. When where's you, the money laundering? The money laundering is happening in, in Trump Towers all around America. The money laundering is when well, where, Russian oligarchs take... 
when they yeah. take and they Only buy. I tell you what, cut him off because I can't. All right, no, yeah, I got him. Mike. He's on hold. He's still here, but he's holding, so you can finish your thought, Michael. Okay, I don't disagree with Nigel on quantitative easing. I've had tremendous issues. I don't think you're wrong, Nigel, on quantitative easing. I think it's a differing topic, and I think that many of the prior administration, starting with Bush and then Obama, were guilty of it. There should have been some banksters goose-stepped straight to jail. They should have been walking them out in cuffs, and that didn't happen. And I think that was to the detriment of the prior president as well. I am critical occasionally of Obama, but that decision is a decision that you disagree with. That doesn't make it illegal. What Donald Trump allegedly has done is against laws. He's breaking the laws of our country in every effort to hide that. And if you think that Russian oligarchs paying cash for condos at inflated prices, which is illegal if you're doing so with ill-gotten gain, if you think that's just investment in the good old United States of America, Nigel, I disagree with you. That is illegal money laundering. If it was El Chapo doing it, we would think it was illegal. Well, if the money's coming from ill-gotten gains and it's being laundered, well, that's illegal, sir. And that's every evidence is that Donald Trump's been doing that since the 1980s. Under what law? State the U.S. code. USC what? USC what? I don't know the code, Nigel. You can Google it, man. Money laundering is illegal <laughs> in this country, money man. Come laundering. on. <laughs> okay, let's you know move what? on. Of- <laughs> Nigel, I appreciate it, man, but we got to keep on moving. More callers are here, 844-967-2789. I'm not going to cite you the law, man. Pretty sure money laundering illegal. And why is Deutsche Bank paying hundreds of millions of dollars in fines and continually under investigation? Oh, yeah, they're also one of the primary lenders to the president of the United States. But And they said no to Trump <laughs> during the campaign. How right. bad is it when Deutsche Bank won't lend you money and they expect you might be the next president? To conceal the source of money as by channeling it through an intermediary. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. 844-967-2789.